This demonstration looks at some of the new shading options, including the anti-aliasing of wireframe inside PowerShape. If we click on the image in the rolling demo. It will load two models and then tile them side by side. One model will have anti-aliasing turned off, the other will have it turned on. So the difference between the two may be quite difficult to see on the video. You'll be better looking at this on your own computer. But the model on the left side of the screen has anti-aliasing turned on. On the right hand side of the screen it's turned off. And you can see some subtle differences with the wireframe. When it's turned off we just get this kind of jagged effect to the wireframe. And when it's turned on we just get a much smoother, neater appearance over the whole model. So if we rotate the model around and you can see the same sort of effect in this region if we compare the two areas. So it just seems to much smoother appearance the model on the left. And the next thing we're going to look at is the solid shading. If we zoom into these areas we often get this effect where it's the shading tolerance or to do with the shading of the solid and we're just sort of peeking through and seeing the inside color of those solid faces. So what we can do is go into tools and options and you can leave this set on or off by default but I can go to shading and with the shading algorithm I can have individual faces which is what we have here or I can say whole solid. Once I've selected that I can just force the regeneration of the triangles. So we can see that has shaded up and got rid of those poor quality areas. And if we compare this to the other model, we'll see they are still apparent. Now the other area that we're going to look at is the shading tolerance. So if we take a look at these areas on both models, we can see we're getting these strands of wireframe or uh, edges sticking down and this is just to do with the tolerance of the triangles for the shading so we can't fit a triangle small enough into that region to cover up those areas. So what I can do is select the model on the right, change the shading tolerance to 0 0.01 and then force a regeneration of the triangles and we should find that actually hides most of those details when compared to the model that is left as standard. So three things, the anti-aliasing of wireframe, I recommend you look at this on your own machine to see the greatest difference. Uh, the solid shading mode and also just highlighting the shading tolerance.